Hey there guys, welcome back. Today I want to take you on a tour of my whole house rainwater harvesting system. It's about 11,500 gallons in capacity and accounts for 90% of my family's water needs. It's been working well for the last six years and overall it's a pretty simple system. So let me grab the camera, I'll take you around and kind of tell you a little bit about it. To start the tour off, we'll begin in my front yard. Actually, you know what? Let's begin with the diagram, just so you understand how this system works. You're gonna notice as I walk you around my house that many of the downspouts go directly into the ground. This is what's known as a wet pipe system, meaning there's gonna be water in the pipes during the entire process of transferring water. There's no pumps required, Basically, the water transfers because there's a difference in the level of the inlet port and the outlet port. I'll show you here in just a second how the water flows, and then you'll see the difference in level. Get some great artwork in there. Okay, so you'll see there's approximately the level of the inlet, and then there's the level of the outlet. The difference between these levels is what moves the water. So now that you understand that, now let's go for the walk around tour. To start the tour off, we'll begin with the largest component of my rainwater harvesting system, and that's my corrugated metal roof. From the roof, the rainwater passes through a series of gutters and PVC pipes to one of four eventual holding tanks. The first of these tanks is my 1100 gallon culvert cistern. This is definitely the coolest looking tank <laughs> and that's why it's on the front side of my house. It receives its water from gutters on either side of my garage and is eventually fed by this PVC pipe that you see over the garage window. And if you're wondering about the IBC tote just next to the tank, it's simply there for added capacity. Now as we move closer to the main portion of this rainwater harvesting system, I do want to point out that we still find good uses for standard rain barrels as well. This one's set up in a corner that sometimes has water skipped during very hard rains, so we like to collect every little drop as much as possible. Now moving across the yard, we'll come to the first of seven connected PVC downspouts that comprise the majority of our water harvesting capacity. All of these downspouts are connected to a 4 inch PVC pipe that runs under the ground and eventually all the way to our main rain collection tanks. Here's number 2 and number 3 downspouts. They both collect from either side of this run of gutter. And here's a closer look of what they look like from up top. The tops of the downspouts have bell couplings and I've simply screwed standard aluminum wire mesh there just to keep bugs and other debris out. Now we'll move on to the fourth downspout, which collects water from half of the gutter that runs along the backside of my porch. From here we'll move on to the fifth downspout, which collects water from two opposing sides of gutters on either side of this portion of my roof. We'll continue to follow the underground line on to the 6th and 7th downspouts. These collect water from the portion we just passed, and the one on the right collects water from the section of gutter over the garage. The final path of the water, after being collected in all 7 downspouts, occurs underground in the 4 inch PVC line that eventually makes its way to a 5,000 gallon tan rain tank.
This tank is approximately 13 feet tall with about five to five and a half feet buried beneath the ground. The horizontal pipe at the top of the tanks allows for the transfer of water by two different methods. One is by simple overflow at times of full capacity, and the other is by using a small electric pump. Now we'll move on over to the final two tanks in the system, which are the ones that are actually connected to my house. This one is 3,000 gallons, and the other one is 2,600 gallons. Currently, both tanks are plumbed together, and when the house pump draws water, it's drawing from both tanks at the same time. However, if I ever need to do maintenance, I can easily shut down one tank and have the pump draw off of the other one. This structure is my pump house. It's what actually holds my pressure tank and my pump that supplies all the pressure for my household needs. If it looks familiar, it was built almost entirely from scraps from my building process and it's clad in the same corrugated metal that my roof was made out of. To transfer water from my rain tank to my other tanks, I simply use an electric pump a short length of potable water hose and a PVC fitting to redirect the transferring water through the overflow pipe that already exists between the tanks. Here's what it looks like. Here's some footage of a very light rain that we had during our recent monsoon. It's just barely more than a sprinkle, but as you'll see here at the rain tank, it still provides a substantial amount of water that's flowing into the tank. And here's some footage of a much more substantial rain that we got later in the monsoon season. You'll see all three tanks are overflowing and I absolutely have no more capacity. At the end of each rainy season, there's really only one tank that ever needs cleaning, and that's my tan rain tank. It tends to collect a little bit of the dirt and sediment from the roof, but pretty much nothing else. The rest of the system does a good job of keeping everything else out. Truly, the most difficult portion of this process is just getting in and out of the tank. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see my rope ladder that I made out of rope and PVC pipe. It works pretty good, but it is still a little bit hairy to go up and down. And this is how baby whales are born. In addition to keeping the rain tank clean, I also like to flush out the entire system of PVC pipes from time to time to reduce any sediment or dirt buildup. I can do this from one of two drain pipes. This one right here, or this one right here, located right next to my rain tank. 